By the end of this video, you will be able to fix recording delay in Audacity. Let's get started. So let's say you're working in Audacity and you're working with multiple tracks and you're noticing that when you listen to yourself and try to record at the same time, that there's a delay with the track that was recorded. So by the end of this video, you'll be able to fix that problem so that when you're listening to a track and recording, that once you're done recording, they will line up. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is open a new Audacity file and you wanna have two tracks ready to go. And what we're going to do is find out how much time the delay is when you're recording into your computer. This will be different for every computer. So you're going to want to test this with your setup so that you can see exactly how much time it takes your software to process the recording into the software. Another word for this is latency. So the first thing we need to do is record a track. And the most important part of this track is actually to clap or speak in rhythm. And I'll show you what I mean. So I'm gonna go ahead and record a track. This will fix recording delay. So when I recorded that track, I clapped three times. You could clap, you could do something like a sound or a sound, any of those will work. So what I need to do now is plug my headphones in and I need to turn the headphone volume up to really loud. You can also make the audio file very loud too by going to effect, volume, amplify, and then you can amplify this sound. So now it's gonna be a little louder and the sound is gonna come out of my headphones. If you didn't have headphones already plugged in, you might need to save this file and then restart Audacity and plug the headphones in before you do that. So now what I'm going to do is hold up the headphones next to my microphone. And I'm going to record again, and the sound of this file is gonna come out of the headphones into the recording again. So let's see how this goes. Now I'm gonna do this in track two. So make sure you have track two selected and be at the beginning of the track. I'm gonna hit record. This will fix recording delay. So the file did record, you can see small lines here, and it did hear the audio from the first track. So what I need to do now is amplify the second track. The reason it was so soft is because my microphone's pretty good at realizing whether I'm speaking or not. So I have my second track highlighted. I'm gonna click on volume and compression and amplify. If you have an older version of Audacity, you need to just find amplify. And so now I'm gonna amplify that so it's really loud. Okay, so now you can see the audio files are more alike. And what I wanna do now is zoom in so you can see the difference between the two files. So you can see this distance right here, that is the latency between these two. So we need to find out how far that distance is. So I have this and I'm going to have my selection tool selected so I can measure this distance. So you can look at the top here and try to guess at the top or the better idea is to go to the bottom here and then start and end of selection. I'm gonna do start and length of selection. So there's the start. Here is the length. Okay, so this is 0 0.095 seconds. So now that I know how long of a delay that is, I need to go up to Edit and Preferences. You're gonna click on Devices, and you're gonna see there's an option here for Latency. So you can see the Latency Compensation. They already had minus 130 milliseconds, but I actually need to add another 95 to that. So and this is a negative number. So whatever number you came up with, you need to have a negative of that. So it's gonna be 130, plus 95 to kind of get the number, but it'll be a negative number. So 130 plus 95, I think that's 225. That sounds about right. So now I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out, and now I will delete the second track, and we're gonna test this again. So I'm gonna do the same thing I did before. I'm going to add a track, and then I'm gonna have that selected, and then I'm gonna have my microphone and my headphones next to each other. I'm gonna click record. Okay, and so now when I stop the recording, I can do the same thing I did before. Go up to here and have the effects, amplify and apply. And so now we can see when I zoom in, these are almost identical. And if you were to listen to this, if you had music as your background or if you were listening to any other kind of audio, these are gonna be lined up now. So you now know how to fix the recording delay when you're using Audacity. If you've made it this far into the video, you most likely want to learn how to edit audio in Audacity. I made a beginner's guide that covers everything you need to know to get started using Audacity, and I'll put a link to that video here.